Welcome to an incredible journey inside the human body. Today, we'll explore how the food we eat travels through the digestive tract and how our body transforms it into the energy and nutrients we need. Welcome the Science 8 class. For our learning competency for this session, using a labeled diagram, trace how food travels through the digestive tract and explain how different digestive processes work, including mechanical processing, secretion, digestion, absorption, and elimination. The digestive system in the human body processes food and liquids. It consists of the digestive tract, where food passes through structures like the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and accessory organs. These organs work together to break down food into smaller components for absorption and assimilation. The mouth is the first organ in the digestive system. It serves several essential functions. First is ingestion where food enters the mouth, allowing the initial stage of digestion. Second is mechanical digestion or chewing. It is when teeth break down large food pieces into smaller ones. Third is chemical digestion. It happens when saliva initiates digestion by breaking down starch into sugar. The esophagus ensures the smooth movement of food from the mouth to the stomach allowing for efficient digestion and nutrient absorption. Unlike the stomach and small intestine, the esophagus does not secrete digestive enzymes. Its primary function is to facilitate the passage of food. The stomach is a hollow muscular organ that holds food while it is being mixed with stomach enzymes. Its key functions include temporary food storage, mechanical digestion, through muscular contractions, chemical digestion, via acids and enzymes, and controlled emptying of partially digested food into the small intestine. The pancreas is located behind the stomach. It performs two key functions. It produces enzymes that break down sugars, fats, proteins, and starches during digestion. The pancreas releases hormones into the bloodstream. These chemical messengers help regulate blood sugar levels, stimulate stomach acids, and control appetite and stomach emptying. The liver, the largest organ in the body, performs essential functions within the digestive system. The liver continually produces bile, aiding fat digestion and nutrient absorption. It processes toxins and removes them from the blood. The liver creates substances necessary for blood clotting after injury. It helps maintain healthy blood sugar levels. The gallbladder is a small, pear-shaped organ located beneath the liver. Its primary role in the digestive system is to store and concentrate bile produced by the liver. Bile is a sticky, yellow-green digestive fluid produced by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. Its primary function is to break down fats into fatty acids during digestion. The small intestine's main functions include breaking down food, absorbing nutrients, and moving the intestinal contents along the digestive tract. Specifically, the small intestine absorbs carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. It plays a vital role in digestion, ensuring efficient nutrient absorption and waste elimination. The large intestine, also known as the colon, follows the small intestine and extends to the anal canal, where food waste exits the body. The large intestine performs several essential functions, such as absorbing water and electrolytes, forming stool, facilitating bacterial fermentation, and protecting against infections. The rectum connects the large intestine to the anus. It acts as a reservoir where stool accumulates before being ready for elimination. The anus marks the exit point for food waste. 
muscles, nerves, and mucous membranes work together to facilitate healthy bowel movements that you can control. Maintaining a healthy digestive system is crucial for overall well-being. Eating a balanced diet rich in fiber, staying hydrated, and exercising regularly can support digestive health. Thank you for listening. See you again on our next journey in exploring Science 8.